What is up, my little nightmares? I mean, um... What is up, my fellow Faustians? Little Nightmares 3 is coming out! Now, I'm just going to say, my next video was supposed to be about my paranormal experience in the movie theater. But that can wait. We have more important things to talk about. If you've ever been obsessed with an upcoming game, you'll understand what I mean. I'm going to talk about my unhealthy obsession with Little Nightmares to show my love for the series. Now, let's get into it. Woo! Yeah, baby, this is what I've been waiting for. First, let's get dressed for the occasion. Yeah, I don't think the raincoat really suits me. Yeah, this is more like it. Now, time to choose a hat. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a pass. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm digging this one. Okay. I'll, I'll stop now. Yeah. Honestly, I fell into a trap with this video. The moment I saw the Little Nightmares 3 trailer, I just reacted. Halfway through the process, I was like, Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've made this mistake before. Basically, I've been a fan of this game ever since I watched PewDiePie play the demo. Oh my god, go, 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 no! He sees me! Ah! Oh, no! Oh god, that's disgust- Oh, thank god, I thought it was gonna eat me or some shit. Jesus Christ. Did I- did I scream? Since that day, I was obsessed with Little Nightmares. I would watch every theory video every day. Super Horror Bro Mike, Gamer Beaver, just to name a few. I don't know what it is about stories where the world and enemies are so much bigger than the protagonist which makes it all the more interesting. Maybe it just takes you back to your childhood, where everything was big and interesting, and you didn't have a care in the world. But, after watching every playthrough, and looking at all the different theories, and playing the game myself, came the wait. I remember waiting what felt like FOREVER for a sequel. But when the Little Nightmares 2 trailer actually came out, I was so excited in the meantime that I would draw up survival tactics during class. Good work. I would write down stuff like, the hunter's primary weapon is his shotgun, so don't run in a straight line, zigzag so he'll miss, and then run for the nearest cover. Stuff like that. But I won't bore you with the whole list. Otherwise we'll be here all night. But after all that, I actually got to play the game. But nothing really surprised me. I kind of ruined it for myself by overanalyzing every little detail before the game actually came out. But that being said, it was still fun to play, and it made for a pretty good night. So, silver lining. But after that, I was left kind of empty inside. That lack of curiosity. I was hoping they would expand upon the game with a DLC or sequel linked to the comics. All that potential storytelling. But they said they were dropping Little Nightmares altogether. But guess what? They didn't! Surprise! When this trailer came out, I couldn't believe my eyes. I had given up all hope of a sequel. So watching this trailer for the first time, my reaction was... I GOTTA MAKE A VIDEO! Yeah, you've already seen that. You know the rest of the story. But I'll tell you this. I'm definitely playing the game on my channel when it comes out. Just so you know. Now... If you're wondering what the takeaway from this video is, I'd say it is, no matter how much you love a game, don't overanalyze before it actually comes out. You might just ruin the experience for yourself like I did. So I like to look at Little Nightmares 3 as a second chance for me. So I'm going to do my best not to overanalyze and watch the trailer millions and millions of times and just sit here patiently and go into the game with a fresh pair of eyes. 
And from what I can see, it's gonna be a long wait.